Hey y'all, I'm back. It's time to make the stuffing. Okay, let's start out with uh, two, four, three, six, seven slices of bread. I'm going to be making uh, a big pan of stuffing. So I've already made my cornbread. I had to go ahead and get it in the oven. So I used uh, three, let's see, three cups of uh, cornmeal, my house archery cornmeal. That's how much I use. Y'all see, I've already cut me a slice. You know, I love cornbread with buttermilk. I love cornbread with um, syrup. So I had to cut me a piece. I had to have a piece. So what I did was went ahead and cut me a slice and sat down and enjoyed it while it was still hot. As a matter of fact, it's still hot. I see the steam coming off of it. Um, let me just say this right quick, too. Somebody... Some nice, wonderful person sent me this beautiful food chopper. It's a nice, beautiful one, too. I haven't even tried to use it yet. Let me see. Um, matter of fact, I just took it out of the box. So I got to figure out how to use it. But I don't know who sent me this. Uh, it's a KitchenAid. It's a beautiful KitchenAid chopper. Whoever sent it to me, please let me know who you are. I received it. It was in a box. It was just the, the uh, machine. And that was it. So... I feel like it might lift up. Okay. I'm sure it lifts up. I guess I need to get the book. I don't want to break it. Anyway, it looks like a very nice food chopper. Now, that's how you press it down. Let me figure. I need to figure out how to... Um, Get it open. I'm so heavy handed, I'm scared to push it hard. But anyway, uh, this is a nice, it's a good size one too. So, I am going to have to get the thing. And you can tell I haven't had a new food shop in the last 10 years. I see the little hinges this way. So, apparently. Okay, anyway, I'll figure it out. But anyway, what I need to do is I got to get this show on the road and get these uh, veggies chopped for my uh, stuffing. So, I went ahead. I already had some um, turkey wings. I went ahead and boiled my turkey wings so I can get that broth off of it. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and make my stuffing, okay? So what I'm going to do, as soon as I figure out how to get into this chopper, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Finally got my uh, veggies chopped. This is one large onion, one and a half large uh, green pepper, four stalks of uh, celery. And, of course, I've got my pan of cornbread in there. I've got the broth off of, it's, probably, it's going to end up being about four cups of broth in there. So this is going to be an extra large uh, pan of uh, stuffing because i got this big old turkey. And I'm going to have to feed about 25 people off of it. So, I'm trying, this is another one of my do ahead. So this stuffing is real simple to make. you got to make a pan of cornbread first, depending on what size. So, you figure this, I use three cups of meal to make this pan of cornbread and make the cornbread according to the directions on the uh, package. So this is for a large pan. If you want to make half as much, just use a cup and a half of meal. That will be a reasonable size unless you just got a big, 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 big family. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this. Uh, this is chicken broth because I didn't have enough juice from that turkey wings. You know, ideally you use the broth off of your turkey when your turkey gets through cooking, but I haven't cooked my turkey yet. 
I'm not going to cook it until later on tonight. And then I'll um, have that broth off of that. But I do have some turkey broth because, like I say, I cook some turkey wings. And got that broth. Just season them up the same way I would season up my um, turkey. Only a little bit more. I'm going to put about three eggs in here. And as you can see, this is going to be a huge, I'm going to end up probably two pans of stuffing. You know, stuffing freezes. Child, you can freeze stuffing for about a year. Just make sure that when you put it in the uh, freezer, that you have it wrapped up really, 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 really good. So, this is basically it for the stuffing. I've got to put in some uh, poultry seasoning and a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to chop up a little bit of that uh, turkey meat and put it in there. And that stuffing is going to be ready. So, cornbread you need bell pepper celery and onions uh three eggs in this size if you're going to use a smaller pan then you put less eggs so just just say for this size if you use if you want to use a smaller pan i wouldn't make any less than half of this uh recipe because you're going to make stuff and you might as well go ahead and go all out and make it because you can make a half of this is still a big pan so i'm going to get two full pans out of it probably so hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put my teaspoon of black pepper in. And I'm going, I told you three eggs. I mean, I'm, I spoke, I misspoke. For this size pan, four eggs. Just beat them up really, really good so they mix in well. And we're just about on the last leg of uh, the stuffing. Just make sure you mix it up really, really, really good. Remember I had the bread in the bottom down there? You have to let it sit. I purposely let it sit for a little bit so that the bread will go ahead and mix in real good. But this is basically what your stuffing should look like. Look like. Oh yeah, and a teaspoon of uh, poultry seasoning, or if you want to put sage, either one, or you can put both if you like. I don't like too too much of that in there. You can put either or, but you need one or the other, or you can put both depending on if you like that sagey taste. Okay. And that's it. Like I say, this is going to make two pans of uh, stuffing. Normally, if I was making a do ahead, you can freeze this or just put it right in the pan. So, in a few minutes, it's going to. I'm going to go ahead and bake it tonight. That way, tomorrow I'll just have to heat it up. So, you know, overnight it's going to be okay. So, hang on, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it. Now, let me just say this for y'all. Now, y'all know. I'm going to get my hands in this to make sure all the lumps and bumps are out of it because I have that bread in there and I want the bread smoothed out in there and I like that and any of the uh, crispy parts of the cornbread I want that all blended in so you may want to get your hands in there oh and by the way if you want to you can put a cup of six of butter in there if you like to if not you don't have to I normally put butter in mine so this time I'm going to go half and half I'm going to do half I'm going to do one stick of butter. In this amount, you put two sticks of butter. I'm going to put one stick of butter, and then the other half is going to be smart start. Okay? So, just to recap on the ingredients. The cornmeal mix that you make your cornbread with, I use three cups of cornmeal and mix it according to the recipe on the cornmeal bag. After I got done baking it, let it cool down. Okay, I ground up one large onion, one and one half large green pepper, four stalks of celery, and then I put all my dry ingredients in there. A tablespoon of, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of uh, sage, teaspoon of black pepper, and uh, you really won't need any salt in this because your um, broth was seasoned, and of course I had to use some extra chicken broth. And if you have enough broth left after you boil your uh, turkey, wonderful. But I didn't have enough, I didn't make enough broth for that, but I need some. So I ended up using a couple cups of uh, just any kind, whatever kind of chicken broth you want to use. So this is like, I use probably 16 ounces, which is like two cups. And when you get it, and however, let me say, say it like this. Whatever consistency you're looking for is this right here. So... 
if it took two cups, a cup and three, four, and maybe, you know, a half a cup, whatever it takes, but it needs to be at least at this consistency. I don't like mine too, too stiff because when it cooks, I like it nice and light. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hands in this in a minute here, and we're going to get this uh, stuffing in the oven. Okay, y'all, there's my stuffing getting ready to go into the oven. Uh, 375 for an hour and a half, y'all. So, next time you see this stuffing, it's going to be on the flavor train on Thanksgiving Day. So, hope y'all enjoyed this little tutorial. Hope you can use it. And like I say, if you want to um, cut this recipe in half, just use half the ingredients. Or if you want to use both, the whole thing, rather, this is how much you're going to get. Two of the nice large foil pans. So, We'll see you for the next tutorial. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, y'all. There it is. There's the stuffing. One or two pans all baked out of the oven and ready for consumption. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. So we got, like I said, we got two pans. So we are ready for tomorrow with our stuffing. Next gravy and the other fixings. And we're ready to go, y'all. So, uh... I hope you got that recipe down pat now so you can go get that stuff and done. You still got time to get it done tonight so you don't have to do it tomorrow. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to move on to next. I'm going to bake my pies, but I already showed y'all how to mix the filling. So, we're going to bake some pies now and uh, we shall return. Thank y'all for hanging out with me now.